G'day, my name's Jared Tallent. I'm an Australian athlete. I specialise in the 50k race walk. I was the Olympic champion in 2012. Also picked up silver medals in that event in 2008 and 2016 Olympics. I've got three world championship silver medals, uh, an Olympic bronze medal in the 20k, um, and a few World Cup gold medals as well. Um, so I'm gonna tell you about my racing views, what I think about when I am competing, especially at the big events. Um, for me, it's usually always thinking about the strategy, um, where my main competitors are, um, who I should be sticking to or where I should be in the pack. Um, my sort of view on racing has always been to um, not do any of the work early, so not lead. Um, I'm always sort of, if there's a lead group, I'm always sort of at the back in the early stages of the event. And I sort of always just plan on trying to make the move in the final few kilometers or in the 50K in the last last 10 kilometers. Um, that's always sort of been my um, go-to strength. Uh, just sort of try and relax early, um, make, or well, put in the least amount of effort as possible so you feel strong and fresh towards the end. Um, so it's always a bit more of a sit and kick is sort of my view. Um, I do also spend a lot of time thinking about my technique. Uh, I used to having a lot of um, DQ problems early in my career. I remember being at the World 2007 World Championships in Osaka and was disqualified um, while I was in fifth place towards the end of the event. So these days um, I uh, stress a lot about my technique and always thinking about it. Even when I won my gold medal in London, I, was, I finished on two red cards. So um, I am always thinking about how I'm, how I'm walking, what um, sort of form I'm in, especially when I get tired. So... Um, I, you know, always thinking about that so I can hold it together. Um, and what happens when it goes bad? Um, I try to always try to stay relaxed. So if the um, race is not going the, the way I want it to, I always try to think of um, what little positives I can can pull out what things I can focus on to, to make myself feel better. I remember at the 2013 World Championships in Moscow, I was really struggling through the middle of the race, um, but I just had to go back to basics and sort of um, started thinking about my pace, what sort of pace I could hold on to. Um, so thinking about my fueling strategies, what I could do to try and make myself feel better um, and just try to, to relax my breathing and um, not try to think too negatively. So I tried to think about positive things, but probably more about all the hard work I put into the event before um, the race. So I started thinking about all the hard sessions I'd, I'd grinded through and sort of fell back on that and then started to feel better. And in that event, I actually then got the pace going again, was able to come home with a silver medal. So yeah, um, that's a little bit about me. Um, thanks for having, thanks for listening. Um, and I'll see you later. Bye. Hey guys, Rob Heffernan here. Wayne asked me to make a quick video for you on my thoughts of my win in Moscow. Um, my win in Moscow, it, was, it wasn't just about the performance on the day. I think Moscow was a, a culmination of 10, 12 to 15 years of work, 15 years of experience of a lot of upset, a lot of disasters, a lot of injuries, a lot of ups and downs. I'm working through them over the years in continuing to gain experience all the time and the previous year I finished fourth in London which was upgraded to bronze at the Olympic Games but I always felt if I delivered that level of performance like I did in London and I brought it to Moscow that I would be highly motivated taking the Russians on in Russia was a huge motivational factor for me and I just 100% I concentrated on myself I concentrated on my own zones I missed two days training the whole year in 2013 and um, I went into the race I was really happy I was really looking forward to it so I never got I never get carried away at different times of the year like November or December or January February I followed the process of my training and my plan and my periodization with everything that I did that year was all geared towards Moscow, whether I was competing in Grand Prix races or in a European Cup or in national championships. These are all little pieces of the jigsaw for the big day. You know, so 
I suppose on that note, what I would say to ye, um, kids coming through, the the huge thing when I look back on my career, the most enjoyable thing out of everything was improving myself. So every time I raced or at the end of every season, as I got older, I was able to sit back and evaluate what went right and what went wrong and removed a lot of the emotion. I kind of go, okay, I did this really well, so I need to be motivated to do these things really well again. And what can I add to make myself better? And I think when you put in that work and the sacrifice, and it's not easy, you know, you're going to come across a lot of difficult times. So it's really important to be around good people, good people who support you. And you need to be resilient. You know, you need to be able to work through times of injury, of upset, of life upsets, of races that have been tough and come through these and somehow find to take the positives out of them and keep on working. And I always found throughout my um, life, it's the person who keeps on coming back and keeps on working that they have a lot of success. Look, best of luck to all of you. Well done to Wayne. Um, I'm coaching Wayne. He's a great guy. It's brilliant now that he's putting back into South African walking. Um, South Africa is a great place. I love, I used to love going there training and I hope to be back there as a coach in the future. So lads, enjoy the weekend. Keep working hard and enjoy it. Drive on.